first tonight, Republicans have described Ocasio-Cortez as the leader of her party, as the boss of the Democratic Party. And there's a reason that they're saying that, because she is. And she said so herself in an interview on Friday. Watch this. Oh, it's unrealistic. Oh, it's vague. Oh, it doesn't address this little minute thing. And I'm like, you try. <laughs> you do it. Because you're not. Because you're not. So until you do it, I'm the boss. That's How about right. that? She's the boss. So how did this happen? Well, for the last two years, Democrats have been very distracted. They have spent all of their time hating Donald Trump and none of their time thinking about what they would do if they ever took charge, as you just did of the Congress last November. So they arrive in Washington in January and they have no idea what to do. Lucky for them, someone had a plan. She was a 29-year-old bartender from the Bronx, and she showed up with a brand new Democratic platform already written. She imposed it on her party. It's called the Green New Deal. And in less than two months, she has basically convinced the entire leadership of the Democratic Party to buy into this plan, to ratify it. It's a perfect plan. It would shut down the entire American economy, except for the hedge funds that fund Democratic campaigns. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. There's only one downside. The plan, if enacted, would cost, some estimate, more than the entire global GDP. Not the GDP of the United States, but the GDP of the world. It's pretty expensive. But it doesn't bother Ocasio-Cortez at all. She doesn't care. Listen to her describe her reaction to the bean counter's description of this is too expensive. Here's what she says in response. Our planet is going to be a disaster if we don't turn the ship around. And so it's basically like there's scientific consensus that the lives of children are going to be very difficult. And it does lead, I think, young people to have a legitimate question. You know, should, is it okay to still have children? Is it okay to still have children? Well, I don't know, Alexandria. Can we? You're the boss now. If you say we can't reproduce the species, of course we won't. It's your call. My gosh. It's a measure of how cowardly and passive everyone's become all of a sudden that a chorus of right-thinking Democrats has not told this idiotic windbag to be quiet and take a seat. Don't talk until you learn something. But of course, nobody's done that. They're all too afraid of her. What you're watching isn't politics. It's a children's crusade, an army of tiny combatants marching off in oversized clothes into an unknown, puffed up with ignorant self-righteousness. Last week, as if on cue, activists showed up with a group of kids to harass California Senator Dianne Feinstein for the crime of not endorsing the Green New Deal. Watch. Some scientists have said that we have 12 years to turn this around. Well, it's not going to get turned around in 10 years. What we can do is Senator, if this doesn't get turned around in 10 years, you're looking at the faces of the people who are going to be living with these consequences. The government is supposed to be for the people and by the people and all for the people. You know what's interesting about this group is I've been doing this for 30 years. I know what I'm doing. You come in here and you say it has to be my way or the highway. I don't respond to that. Any plan that, that doesn't has, take bold, transformative okay. action is not going to be what we need. We well, need your you know better than I do. So I think one leaders? day you should run for the Senate. Mm -hmm. You almost, almost feel a little bad for Dianne Feinstein. This is not the politics that she joined. When Dianne Feinstein became a U.S. Senator 27 years ago, the Democratic Party was still sort of tethered to reality. They cared about the middle class, or said they did. They wanted a secure border. Dianne Feinstein made that case herself. They said they wanted abortion to be legal, but at least they said they also wanted it to be rare. They never told you not to have children. Dianne Feinstein is 85 now. She is not the future of the Democratic Party. Comrade Ocasio-Cortez is the future. She may be arrogant and dumb, but at one point she's absolutely right. She is the boss. Josh Holmes is a former chief of staff and campaign manager for Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. He was recently accused by Ocasio-Cortez of running a, quote, multi-million dollar operation to have bot accounts manipulate online discourse. There's no evidence for that claim, and Ocasio-Cortez later deleted the tweet. Josh Holmes joins us tonight. Josh, thanks very much for coming on.
Yeah, thank you, Tucker. Where did the first to the specifics of your experience with Ocasio Cortez? Where did the idea that you ran a multi-million dollar bot farm come from? Do you think? <laughs> I mean, look, your guess is as good as mine. I actually have absolutely no idea. I would love to know the fever swamps that this conspiracy came from, but I'm afraid I'll, I'll probably never know. But I think it actually touches upon what your your lead in with is, and that she is so uncomfortable with the idea that there are people who disagree with her, so uncomfortable with the idea that yeah. there are conservatives walking the planet, that the idea that there's any traffic online, anybody who could disagree with something as sacred as the Green New Deal, right. certainly must be bought and paid for and totally corrupt by some Republican out there like me. This is kind of what Democrats deserve, though, after spending two years not mentioning what they might be for an affirmative case for their views a program for america instead of focusing on trump i mean she just filled a void yeah that, that's entirely right and i'm glad i'm glad that you're covering that it is really easy to look at somebody who's milling about their kitchen espousing the absolutely crazy views that she espouses on a nightly night to night basis i mean i i don't know what's going on but but what she's coming up with is is crazy but it's not that crazy in the context of the democratic party because as you saw she rolls out the green new deal the next thing you know we've got 2020 candidates on the record that are all of a sudden coming out in favor of banning cows i mean this is this kind of lunacy right. is now becoming mainstream in democratic politics and if we don't take it seriously i'll be darned if we're not going to wake up and and half this country is going to be in endorsing those kind of things. We got to fight for it. Well, I think I think that's I think that's exactly right. It, it's foolish to sit back and just laugh and oh how stupid this is. I mean, I think if she were 35, I think she could be president. But I'm just struck by how easy it was for her to take over the Democratic Party. I mean, there's basically been no resistance. Nobody has been brave enough. Even Senator Feinstein who's 85, what does she care? No one has stood up and said, "You know what? You don't know anything. You're arrogant and dumb. Please be quiet." Why will no one say that? Yeah, well, I think you got a, a combination of problems. I think the first problem is that you've seen the leadership of the Democratic Party lar largely confined to septuagenarians who have been so out of touch with the American people for so long that the base of the Democratic Party is looking for something new. She's seen that right. and she's seized upon that to try to drive this wedge that, you know, started developing in the Sanders campaign, honestly, against the, almost a generational battle within her party. The difference is, is what she's come up with and the views that she's espousing here are incredibly dangerous. I mean, a restructuring of the economy, the likes of which we've never seen before, tearing down every building in America and replacing them with some new green dream, a $93 trillion uh, deal. Well, I mean, here's the problem is that they're all saying they're going to vote for it. Right. I'm, I'm glad Mitch McConnell yeah. is actually going to put this sucker on the Senate floor. So at very least, we can see the, the 2020 Democrats who are running for president come down and be, and be counted. Because, you know, darn well, when they, in the, they get to Ohio in a general election, they're not going to want any part of this deal. No, I mean, it's just it's a pure Democratic takeover of the U.S. economy. It's just it's just so interesting. I mean, you worked in the Senate. There must be Democratic senators who think that this is unwise and dangerous to their party. Why aren't oh, they saying anything? Absolutely. Well, you saw with Dianne Feinstein why they're not, right? I mean, here's a senator who dared question the idea that we don't ruin the Democratic or the, the entire American economy, and she's shouted down by a bunch of children. And by the way, there were calls all over California for her to resign for that. I mean, this is the modern-day Democratic Party. I saw it personally yeah. with AOC attacking me. You see Democratic senators, if they dare question this wisdom, being shouted down by AOC's three million followers online, which, by the way, facts be darned, they, they're going to absolutely attack no matter what. And um, it's a really yeah. dangerous place for, the de for Democrats who have yeah. any sort of wherewithal <laughs> these days. Josh, thanks for that. That was, that was smart and interesting. Thank you, Tucker. Appreciate it.